So here we see 2 Corinthians chapter 1 from verse 12. It says, For our boasting is this, the testimony of our conscience, that we are conducted ourselves in the word in simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshly wisdom, but by the grace of God and more abundant towards you. For we are not writing any other things to you that what you read or understand. Now I trust you will understand even to the end, as it was with understanding us in part that we, that we are your boast as you also are ours in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So what does he do here? He tells the church, hey, you know, make sure that no one else comes to you with any other type of revelation, any other type of wisdom that comes out of what I have been teaching you to prepare, to stay, so we can rejoice with each other on that day of the Lord Jesus Christ when the rapture takes place. Hallelujah. Let us now turn to 2 Timothy. The book of 2 Timothy. Now, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 16 to 18. We see it again expressed here. We see from verse 16, The Lord grant mercy to the household um, of Enephoros, for he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chain, but when he arrived, when he arrived in Rome, he sought out uh, me very zealously and found me. The Lord grant him that he may find mercy from the Lord in that day. That day he is talking about is the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Paul was thankful that this one Christian, despite of the persecution that Paul was undergoing at that time and anybody associated with him, he went out of his way to find Paul in a time of need. And he was praying for him and his family that he would be found worthy of our day of our Lord Jesus Christ at the hour of the rapture. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 6 to 8. For I am ready, being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness with the, with the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. What day is he talking about? And not to me only, but all those who have loved his appearing. He is talking about the rapture of the church. He is saying there will be a reward given to all of those that are preparing for that day of his appearing. But if you are living your life thinking the Lord is going to come back in 50 years, or it could be this, or it could be that, then you are not preparing. You are relaxed in your Christianity. Therefore, you will not be ready when He comes. Do not be deceived by anybody coming to you with other vain teachings. Paul anticipated his death and the promise of the Lord with His coming. Hallelujah. 